Have you ever watched people walk into the grocery store in the produce section? The reaction is baffling to me. They look indifferent, unimpressed, even bored. How else should they look? They're just a bunch of fruits and vegetables. Justa? That's a vile phrase. Justa is a vile phrase. It's not just anything. It's fruits and vegetables. Would these people sit at a Las Vegas show with that expression on their face? Probably not, because that's a lot different. It's magic. It is different. It's different because apples are a lot more amazing and awe-inspiring than a magician cutting a person in half or catching a bullet in his teeth. But apples are ordinary. That's just the problem right there. Sometimes ordinary is amazing and we just forgot. For just a minute, let's remember apples. Apples come from trees. That in itself is a pretty incredible thing when you think about it. But what if I showed you a tree that produced purple apples? Ha, <laughs> that would be amazing. So is it any less amazing that an apple tree would produce a red or a green or a yellow apple? But there's more. This is what an apple tree looks like in the spring. And this is what it looks like in the fall. Because this turns into this. Yeah, I studied that in school. It's a process involving pollination, fertilization, and growth into... There you go again, sticking labels onto miracles and then sucking all the wonder out of them. Would it be amazing if this turned into this? Oh, oh yeah, that would be awesome. And yet we are so unimpressed by the transformation of this to this just because it has happened millions and millions of times. Why? Does the repetition make it less impressive or more impressive? Think about it. What's more impressive, pulling a rabbit out of a hat or pulling a million rabbits out of a hat? The million rabbits would be more impressive. The whole front end of the produce department is full of these incredible transformations. A little further along in the produce department, you will find the vegetables. Okay, I'm starting to get the whole fruit is magic kind of thing, but vegetables? Oh yeah, these are amazing. You just haven't thought about it. We all know about the nutrients in the dietary fiber. Pretty impressive. And they can be eaten raw for convenience or cooked in a fancy meal. And they taste good. Most of them, when they're fresh. Here's another amazing thing. You can eat fresh vegetables year-round in a lot of places. No way. What about February? Here's a list of vegetables that are in season in February. You can see there's incredible variety year-round. And this incredible variety is in the vegetable aisle. I'm sure that the creator could have made just one sort of regular plant part for us to eat with our meat and bread. We could have the same limited diet that most animals have. Some animals eat the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Koalas have their eucalyptus leaves. Giant pandas eat just bamboo. Black-footed ferrets, just prairie dogs. And the pentailed tree shrew exclusively drinks the natural fermented nectar of the Burton palm. That's it. And members of the cow family eat grass. But the Creator gave us all kinds of plant parts, edible plant parts. There's no requirement for so many parts of plants to be edible. It's a gift. Look at all of them. There are fruits that we call vegetables, including cucumbers, eggplant, okra, sweet corn, squash, peppers, and tomatoes. We can eat plant seeds like peas and beans. There are flower vegetables like artichokes, broccoli, and cauliflower, and bulb vegetables like garlic, leeks, and onions. We can eat leaves and stalks like Brussels sprouts, cabbage, celery, lettuce, rhubarb, and spinach, and even stems like asparagus and kohlrabi, and edible tubers, potatoes. And we eat plants' roots when we eat beets and carrots and radishes and sweet potatoes and turnips. And this list doesn't even cover all the stuff that I can find in my ordinary grocery store right down the street. It's amazing that all of this amazingness happens so continuously and regularly that we forget that it's amazing. None of this needs to be this way. It's a gift. And look what happens when human beings fulfill the mandate to innovate. Wow, that looks awesome. Exactly. So, I think it's entirely appropriate for us to burst into spontaneous songs of praise and thanksgiving as soon as we hit the produce department. Or we can be struck almost dumb with awe and wonder. 
And if not that, at least a brief acknowledgement of the debt of gratitude that we owe either to God or the universe, if that's your thing. The last thing you should be is indifferent and bored. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.